What? That's a lot of money. have or oh, y'all doing y'all see the thumb before we get started with this video give it a thumbs up bro let's get it over 500 likes all right <coughs> let's get right to the news oh allergies are acting up this video but we're gonna press through it bro this first news item i had to double check the price do you want to know how much a 1987 Nintendo game has sold for? <coughs> what if I told you $9,000? Bro, a sealed copy of Kid Icarus sold this past week for $9,000 according to a listing on Heritage Auction. The story is crazy. This is on CNET.com. The seller of the game, Scott Amos of Reno, Nevada, he told the Reno Gazette on Monday, he cleaned out the attic of his childhood home and discovered this. He was just doing some house cleaning for his moms and pops. And in the attic, he saw an unsealed Kid Icarus game. He's saying <coughs> the date on the receipt was December 8, 1988. So he assumes the game was a Christmas gift purchased by his mom that she forgot to give him. He says he thought it would have been worth a few hundred dollars until he spoke to some experts and they told him the true value. And so he sold it for 9,000, just crazy, bro, he must have had a sad Christmas, he probably was like, man, as a kid, man, I can't wait till I get Kid Icarus, I can't wait till I get Kid Icarus, and his mom forgot to, but, no, he must have had a lit Christmas, if she completely forgot a game, that means he must have had a lot of games that Christmas, and they forgot to um, include Kid, Kid Icarus in that bundle, but, the game sold for 9,000, almost 10 G's, bro. That's crazy 30 years later. Hey, good looking out. Hey, <laughs> buy your mom something, bro. All right, next news item. I thought this was pretty cool, and kudos to Sony. Now, I have to say, this generation, PlayStation 4 has probably been my least played console. Oh, no, because at the beginning of the generation, I was on my PS4 heavy, but... Sony has sold over 100 million PlayStation 4s this generation. They've recently just passed that milestone. This is huge. And to Sony's credit, their consoles always kill it, man. Right now, the best-selling home console or console period of all time is the PlayStation 2 at 155 million? This is coming from Wikipedia because everything on Wikipedia is accurate. 155 million for the PlayStation 2. <coughs> In second place is the Nintendo DS, bro. The Nintendo DS was lit, had some gems. Star Fox Command, low key lit. The Nintendo DS, just shy of 155 million at 154. Um, other Sony units. PlayStation sold 102. The Wii is at 101. Play, uh, of course, PlayStation 3. Bro, Sony's worst selling console was the PlayStation 3 at 87 million. And 87 million is nothing to bat an eye at, bro. But I have to say this. This 100 million by the PlayStation 4 should have an asterisk next to it. Because this has been a generation where you have the PlayStation 4 and you have the Pro. And the Pro is also included in those sales so 
Um, still, you can't take any credit away from what Sony's managed to achieve. We have a whole other year to the Xbox, um, the, whatever the new Xbox and PlayStation consoles will be. I'm going to look and see what they are both offering at E3 and decide, but um, it's all about the games, bro. If you have cross-play, just give us cross-play, and it don't matter what consoles we get. What Sony dudes can play with, um, Xbox dudes, and even Nintendo Switch, so... Let's go. Crossplay. Turn up. All right. Next news item. And I didn't realize this was such a big issue. But I guess a lot of hardcore Fortnite dudes are upset with Season 10. Reddit is going crazy right now with the addition of mechs. What? Bro, I thought the mechs were lit, man. Where is it? Not, this isn't the trailer with the mechs. But, bro, <coughs> um, Fortnite has added mechs into the game. I like Titanfall. They literally drop down like Titanfall. You hop in. But I was having a ball with the mechs last night. It's two people in the mech. Shout out to the homie L. Um, he was controlling it, stomping dudes out. I had the rockets and the guns blasting dudes. It was lit, bro. But... A lot of dudes don't like the mechs. mechs. And I asked my son, <coughs> my 13-year-old son, he loves Fortnite. He's real good at the game. And I asked him his thoughts on the mechs. Um, he didn't seem too fond of it. Um, he was like, man, they're scary. <laughs> like they're, It made it seem like they're a little OP. But at the same time, they do do a lot of damage. But they're a huge target. Rocket launchers, and you, you really see, they can't sneak up on nobody. You know where they're coming. They make a loud noise. And so... Uh, I like it. I like the fact that the developers aren't keeping the game stale. They're trying new things. Now, one thing I don't like about Season 10, right now I'm not a fan of how they're doing the challenges right now. Uh, that's the only thing I'm a little uh about, but I've only played it once, so I just got to play it more. But um, so far it's dope, man. I like it. I like it. They got to keep it fresh. They're going into their 10th season, man. And Fortnite is still crushing it. Uh, Ninja just got paid um, 50, 60 million just to stream on Mixer. It's crazy, bro. Crazy things happening right now. So, some dudes are upset with Max. All right, next news item. Nightwolf. Nightwolf is coming to Mortal Kombat. On August 13th, the next DLC fighter will be Nightwolf. Hey, I'm low-key lit in Mortal Kombat, bro. Y'all do not want these hands, bro. Um, but <coughs> Mortal Kombat right now is my favorite fighting game. Smash is a close second. Mortal Kombat, Smash. Mortal Kombat, Smash. I like both, but this is what I grew up in the, in the arcades. And so Mortal Kombat 11, one of the best Mortal Kombat additions to the series really really liking the game interested to see how nightwolf will play i will be picking up i do believe i have uh, the fighters pass so nightwolf coming to mortal kombat and last but not least my son is at the door saying dad but he doesn't know i'm recording so i'm not stopping madden Today is the launch day for Madden. I did stream it earlier on my channel. I might stream another game um, tonight on Twitch. We'll see. But I will be on Twitch streaming Madden. Um, game is good. It's good. It's, it's a solid. Madden makes solid football games, bro. I bought every single Madden game since Madden. Was it 90 or 92 on my Sega Genesis? I think it was 92. It was my first Madden game. Yeah, Madden 92. And then since then, I've had every single Madden um, doesn't have any competition. Competition would be good. And with the whole controversy of EA not supporting the Switch, it would have been dope for 2K to make a football game just for competition sakes. Don't get me wrong. I like Madden. I'm a fan of the series. But when there's no competition, you can do whatever you want. You can just be like Nintendo deuces. And that's what they're doing right now. All right, dudes. Um, last um, thing before I end this video. Remember, I am giving away a Nintendo Switch Lite to a lucky... Um, member, shout out to Scoops. He's sponsoring this, giving away a Nintendo Switch Lite in September. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, bro.
Kim got an endless stash. She's been throwing money the whole video, bro. Ain't run out yet. Keeping up with the Kardashians. What season are they on? 